Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And now you can get 15% off of your purchase using my promo code PATRIOT at checkout. So yes, 15% off your order using my code PATRIOT. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Dinobot Slug. Or as I'm going to call him, Slag. Because I'm an old G1-er and I am stuck in my ways. So I was pretty excited to get this uh, from Amazon.com, released early. This is my first Transformer figure of 2023. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. It's your typical core class box. We've got a great shot of Slag there in his dinosaur mode. Slag himself behind the open package, and he looks like he fills out that box pretty good. Transformers Legacy Evolution, Transformers along the side, Dinobot Slug. This side of the box features new artwork. Looks like we've got half of the poster that we've seen for the Legacy line. Back of the packaging, we've got product shots of Slug in robot mode and dinosaur mode. And he is two of six to form Volcanicus. And I see that the QR code is gone. I guess that's a gimmick that just didn't work. This side of the box features artwork of Slug in robot mode. So now, without further ado, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get Slag, Slug, all opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Slug all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And within the instructions is the QR code I was talking about earlier, but this one doesn't work yet. I scanned this and this here is what I got. So I guess he did get released early and Hasbro doesn't have the bios up yet. He also has this little tail melee weapon thing and then of course you've got slug himself and all in all he really doesn't look bad i love the head sculpt love the minimal paint applications he's got a red head red there for the chest black fist and gold feet and then of course he's got gold up here for the triceratops head and well we'll get more into that in dino mode so he doesn't look bad and he's actually a fairly big core class figure. Now he's doing good for me right now, but I have discovered he is pretty top heavy. So what I did earlier is I can bring these legs down behind him and kind of give him heel spurs. I will do that for the rest of the review so he doesn't fall over. So articulation, let's see. The head can do a complete 360, but you're turning the entire dinosaur head around along with the robot head arms can do a complete 360 they can also go out and in and that's due to transformation there is a it looks like there is but no i thought there was a waist rotation but i mean there's the mushroom peg oh there we go you just got to move these little sections these little wing sections out of the way they can open up but that's for a surprise later on well i guess you could leave them out like so i never look at the instructions i can't tell no those stayed in so as he came right out of the package you have to have those together but you saw there is the option 
you can open those up. You just can't get them put back together. All right, back to the legs. Legs can go forward, they can go back. There is a knee bend, a nice deep knee bend, and rotation. Can the legs rotate? Yes, they're on a ball joint, or the knees rotate. They're on a ball joint as well. So not a bad little figure, to be honest. He's really surprised me. Little gappy there in the back. Now we got his little weapon right here. I thought it was a gun, but with the artwork, it kind of looks like a bladed melee weapon. So I guess that's what it is. You got blades right there, or I guess you could pretend it is a blaster. You know, it's up to you, up to your imagination. So that's it. Uh, everything I've got for slag, slug, and robot mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into his beast mode. We're going to remove the tail first. We're going to shut up the mouth. Transformation just the same as every other slag with the head hidden inside the mouth. They missed an opportunity to put a uh, Autobot insignia right there. So we got that shut. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the arms, rotate them around, and bring them down, forming the dinosaur feet or dinosaur front legs. So we've got that going on there. Now, now here on the back, get this all attached. We're just going to bring this up and over. Get those legs out of the way. And these little sections right here are gonna fit into that slot right there. He's popping apart. There we go, get everything squeezed together nice and tight. And back here on the back, you can see this peg. Get that squeezed together good. And then get your dinosaur tail and plug that in. That is a pretty stumpy tail. And then we have slag in his dinosaur mode and that really doesn't look too bad lots of great sculpted details even has the rocket launchers there on the side that when he fires off he's going to take out part of his uh shield right there love the paint applications on the face the gold really pops i'm really digging this new metallic paint that hasbro is using got the blue eyes right there red autobot insignia on the forehead you got gold right there, that was the robot toes, now on the dinosaur back, and you got gold for the tail. Now articulation for the dinosaur mode, the head can rotate, well, yeah, rotate around, but the jaw is gonna open, so it's like the robot's gonna look at you from the side. Jaw opens and closes, the legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in, Back legs, back and forward, and that's it. He does look a little bit weird missing that middle section of his gut, but it is what it is. So now, here's the surprise with this guy. He is a combiner, and he is the upper body of Volcanicus. And to transform him into that, we're gonna pop off the tail section right here. Go ahead and bring this back out going to unfold these wings that I showed you earlier. Fold those out. Bring these legs up. Can't remember. Yep, there's a peg right there. See the, or there's a peg there on the inside of the leg. It's going to slot in right there on the side of the body. Get that pegged in. Get that pegged in. And now what we're going to do is hook these back together and bring them up and peg them right back the way they were for the dinosaur mode, if I can get them. I don't know why these legs are so hard to peg back in place. Okay, so we've got that going on. Unpegged everything here. Bring the back legs down. So you've got this. Now what you're gonna do is take the weapon and pull out this section right here, which is Volcanicus's head. And I like that, that's a good head sculpt. That great gold paint right there for the crest and some red eyes. And he kind of looks like Grimlock. So the head is gonna peg in right here between the wings. And there you go, there is the torso for Volcanicus. So I think that's gonna be a interesting looking combiner. So there you go, guys. There is Legacy Evolution Core Class Slag. Slug.
And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Slug with Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime, Studio Series 86 Core Class Ratchet, and Studio Series 86 Core Class Wheelie. So, does a Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Slug belong in your collection? To be honest, this figure really surprised me. When I first saw the images online, I thought these little Dinobots were a joke, but getting him in hand, he's actually pretty fun, and I am very intrigued with what the new Volcanicus is going to look like. No, this figure isn't for everybody, but hell, he's only a core class figure, you know, for 10 bucks, he'll make a good desk bot. And as you can see, I improved his looks with a little Toy Hacks Autobot insignia. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! <laughs>